Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Balancing Act. Here's a question for you this morning. Have you ever found yourself questioning the gap between science and religion? How about fact versus fiction? Well, that is exactly what my next guest, Jennifer Vallapi, set out to do when she wrote her first novel, Certain Cure, a medical religious thriller. Jennifer, good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Danielle. Thank thanks you for so having me. Well, thanks for being here with us this morning. And, you know, before we dive into your book, I really have to talk on a personal level here because I've got to give our viewers just a little bit of background on your professional career because, in addition, of course, to being my dear friend, you've won multiple Emmys, you've been mm -hmm. recognized on the floor of Congress, and you have also founded Women of Tomorrow, which is a wonderful wonderful mentoring group for young girls. Jennifer, how do you do it all? I, I think I just don't do anything well, right? Right. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm truthfully a big believer that if you really want to get something done, you ask a busy person because we're so busy, as you know, mm -hmm. that we just figure out how to, how to budget our time a little bit more wisely because we have no choice. Well, you know, in terms of budgeting your time, you did find the time to write this wonderful novel. It's your first novel, Certain Cure. How did the idea for the book come about, Jen? Well, you know, in all the years of being in television news, every time there was a major disaster, uh, a tsunami, a series of earthquakes, a series of hurricanes, a, an act of God, uh, quote unquote, or, or maybe a terrorist attack, mm -hmm. invariably there was always a group of people who were asking, didn't Nostradamus predict this? Isn't that in the Bible? There were always people that were curious by that, and I was always intrigued by the whole concept. So I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to actually go back and look at the actual ancient Judeo Christian prophecies that exist and see if I could put them into some sort of a modern context and have them come true in today's world without anybody even noticing and that was really the the impetus for the book and that's what I did absolutely fascinating now the book is set in New York Yes. Why New York? Where else? I mean, yeah. where else would you put an end days thriller, right? I mean, this is a city that had 666 emblazoned on the top of a building for years and years and years. So um, I mm -hmm. love New York. I lived there for many years and worked there on television, and, and I thought it would be a great place, great setting for the book. You know, here's the thing that I'm so proud of is, is Certain Cure, which is your first novel, quickly became the number one best-selling techno thriller on Amazon as soon as it was released. Very exciting. That had to be a thrill for you. That was very exciting. Yes. Tell me about that, because I know a lot of uh, novelists, Jen, they will write four, five, and six novels and, and never be recognized. And for this to be your first, that just had to be so exciting. Well, I guess some of it's, you know, it's really just about marketing and people knowing that the book is out there. I think the, the concept of the mm -hmm. book, it's about a woman who is um, diagnosed with terminal cancer and about this mysterious doctor from China who comes to cure her. And she has a daughter who's a television talk show host and a grandson who's a teenager and he's probably the smartest one in the bunch mm -hmm. in, in many instances and he's having some sort of metaphysical experiences as well and I think it just struck a chord with a lot of people um, it, it sort of speaks to the question of how far would you go to cure yourself or someone you love of cancer and you know we have so many incredible developments in metal, medical technology these days every time we turn around there's something new but the, the book's a little bit of a cautionary tale that that you can't just accept everything just because it sounds good because you never know what the ramifications might be down the road. What do you hope people take away from the book? Well, I, I think that in a way we're very much on a quest for immortality mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a race of human beings and, and probably someday we'll find it. So one of the central questions is, you know, if man is on a quest for immortality, when we find it, does the search for God become irrelevant? Mm. And that's kind of where the book goes. There's the, the prophecies was really the fascinating part because they were so shocking when I actually looked them up. So the end of the book actually has a section of biblical citations where you, you will see from the ancient Judeo-Christian prophecies that these things are actually real. Um, because who could make this up? I mean, sure, sure, absolutely. <laughs> so I had to put him in there to, to show that I didn't make this whole thing up. I mean, it was, it's really, it's, it's pretty fascinating and it was a lot of fun. Well, it is a fascinating read. The book is called Certain Cure. Where can we find it, Jen? Uh, www.certaincure.com. All right. You well, Jennifer Vallecki, always good to see you. Great to see you too. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Danielle. Be sure and visit MyLifetime.com where you can sign up for the Sears Dream Kitchen Giveaway where $16,000 worth of major appliances could be yours.